Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. You've got people running all over the place, starting applications, getting emails, texts. You've got student files, you have notes to leave. Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park is loving it. It's chaos, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> When did this person get user access? When did they enroll in that course? When did they drop it? It's unpredictability in complex systems. It's chaos. It's nuts out there. Your first line of defense against the forces of disorder and chaos, the activity feed. Antidote to chaos. Every profile has an activity feed. It's a complete history of your school's interaction with this person. It includes notes, emails, letters, files, to-dos, and other items involving the person that you're looking at. But one of the huge values is the change log within that. Every change about a person that we log in Populi ends up on that log, which is incredibly useful. Speaking of incredibly useful, how about this little YouTube channel of ours? Hit subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Let's talk roles. Roles are incredibly important to the activity feed and we're not going to be able to enumerate all of the role distinctions here. A couple quick things. One, anyone without a role or with only a student role will not be aware that they or anyone else has an activity feed. It just doesn't show up for them at all. But if someone has the staff role or one of the faculty roles, they'll see the activity feed. Two, roles affect visibility on the activity feed. Let's go look at adding a note to a student and we'll see exactly what I mean by this. Go to any profile in Populi and you'll land on the activity feed. Let's say that we had a meeting with this student about their financial situation and we wanted to leave a note here. I can then click down here and then I'm able to choose which roles ought to be able to see this. If it's set to private like it is there currently, only my profile can see this. It's good to be aware of that. So if you have a staff member going around and leaving notes set to private, if that staff person ever leaves, no one else, no other profile will be able to see those notes. But if you choose a couple roles here, and for this tuition note, I'm gonna choose financial admin and student billing, my profile will be able to see it as well as anyone with either of those roles. So now this note is as useful as possible. You can also add files right here, that's good to know. Now we'll just click add note. But now we wanna look down here and see how dealing with these notes and things actually works. Because we're looking at a testing instance, we're not gonna see much here. On your students, you're gonna see all kinds of stuff. Emails, texts, all the things listed on this dropdown. Let's talk about emails. Obviously, Populi doesn't handle all of your email. You don't receive emails from anyone in Populi. So the activity feed won't show replies automatically here. But anything that you send via the Populi email interface will end up here. What do I mean by the Populi email interface? Well, if we go over here and click send email and you get a page like this, that's the Populi email interface. Email sent that way will end up on the activity feed automatically. Can you get emails sent from outside of Populi onto the activity feed? The answer is yes. That requires you to use our email Dropboxing stuff. And if you're interested in that, you'll find documentation linked down in the description. So if you've got all kinds of notes and files and emails, etc., how do you suppress the noise so you can get down to what matters? First, you've got the show dropdown right here. So if you wanna see just files here, boom. If you wanna show notes, click that, boom. We've also got the from dropdown. Let's say that I'm looking for something I posted I can choose that option. Me in this situation is Helen Brooks. So I can just see things that Helen's profile posted here. I can also select other and then choose a name here and see notes from that person. Another option here, you can flag posts. That will give you the ability to keep important emails, files, notes, etc., readily accessible. We can set anything here to flagged. And then when we choose to show flagged items, only those items will pop up. 
One other huge thing here, the change log, like I mentioned, if we go to the show dropdown and then choose changes, we're gonna show all kinds of information about what has happened on this student's profile. So if you're dealing with a student who does not have the program that you expect, let's say you expect to see a graduate program here, we don't see that, you can go back to the activity feed, look at changes here, and then see when that was deleted. So there are all kinds of applications for how the change log can be useful. You can see who added which fees, who granted or removed user access, all kinds of stuff. If you're investigating something about a user, the change log is really helpful. What you see on the change log is determined by your roles in much the same way that visibility of other posts are. So faculty users will see slightly different things on the activity feed than academic admins, etc. The things that matter to them. And if this video mattered to you, click that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Also, we've got a good article in our knowledge base on the activity feed and that'll have some additional details that'll be helpful. We've linked that in the description below. We have our social media linked below as well, so check that out. I've been Josh for Populi and you've been great. Thanks for watching.